hello, hello. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Look who we have here hiding under this towel. Peekaboo. Hi, Mommy. Hi, everybody. The reason she has this towel on her head is I have just conditioned her hair because she will be leaving tomorrow. And I always do the hair conditioning treatment the night before when I set up the box packing. But I wanted to come on with her because her mommy had asked me a question uh, before she decided to adopt her, which was, is taking care of the human hair any different or harder than the mohair? And I don't feel it is. Um, I use the same conditioner on her as I do the mohair, which is this L'Oreal Superior Preference. Um, this comes with um, hair dye. I do not dye my hair, but there are many people on eBay who sell, you can get lots of tubes in one lot if you want. Um, and I did that, so I have this. Um, but what I will point out, and this is not exclusive to human hair, it is the same for mohair. I have a couple babies with longer hair. Vijanye has longer hair. Malachi has very thick hair. Zolani has long hair. What is really important so that you don't have hair loss is that when you're combing the hair out, you take a section and you start at the bottom and you comb through it. So see how there was a little catch there? I comb through it and I always have give so that I'm not pulling from where the hair is glued in the head. If you were to start up here and get caught and just start pulling, you will pull the hair out. But that is the same true for mohair the longer hair. So you just want to go through this and because I just you know conditioned her hair and patted it with a towel I will probably have a couple catches. So see how that whole section is now combed through. So now we'll go to the next section. So you would do that. Oops, sit up darling. You would do this going around the whole head. Again take another section start at the end and then I will spritz it to, so to get the bouncy curls back. And you're just going to move, you know, move up. So I, I'll talk about other things while I'm doing this. And if I, if something comes up about the hair, I will interject it. Um, but anyway, so that's what I do. That's how I make sure I don't have hair loss. Um, you know, Vijanier is whew, five years old. She still has a head full of hair. Zolani is, I think, three years old. Um, you just have to be patient. I mean, just like if it were a real child, except with a real child, I couldn't turn the head quite that far. <laughs> or maybe, but not much further. Anyway, but I hope everybody is doing well. Um, those of us in the States, it is Thanksgiving week. I hope everybody has uh, their, let's say, what will I call it, their uh, 2020 Thanksgiving plans. I know ours are very different than normal. Uh, usually we... Um, like last year, for example, we went to uh, my mom's, and then she came back with us and stayed with us. Oh, wait, no, that was two years ago. Last year, she came home with us after Christmas, that's right. Um, but I think we went for Thanksgiving. Anyway, but we are not doing that this year because of COVID. Um, my mom does live in Illinois, which has very, very strict guidelines, which I, I do support. My state does not, but I have been, my husband and I have been, you know, following our own very strict social distancing, you know, guidelines from the very beginning. And uh, we took this very, very seriously. And uh, so as you can see, I've combed through her hair and there's zero hairs in that comb. Now, had I gone in and started up here right after and had a catch and just forced it out, you will pull the hair out of the head because, you know, with shorter, the tiny baby hair, you don't really have that as much because there's a greater distance now for pulling, if that makes sense. So I'm going to, I'm just going to put a little, I'm not going to dress her now, always the night before while their hair is drying. I um, have them sit in their Kimberly's Cocoon onesie in a bumbo. And I've actually been uh, working out in my studio today, so I will go back to that. I've got a little bit more that I want to, my, my goal to reach for today. And so she will keep me company, won't you, Maxie girl? 
Um, so anyway, I'm just going to zhuzh her curls right now and get them how I like them. So, um, so yeah, I hope everybody is keeping safe and healthy and, um, it was nice to see some videos for, from her Londa today and, uh, she was talking about the COVID vaccine and, um, I'm not really sure, um, the rollout here. I've heard a couple things. Uh, I won't be part of the first for sure. Uh, I'm going to kind of let it run its course. I haven't read it yet. I saw an article come up about from the CDC about, or no, I think it was titled something like the CDC should be uh, telling us the, or sharing the side effects of this. But hopefully, you know, in time, there will be a vaccine that will be available and safe and um, you know, hopefully this first one is perfect, and as it rolls out, I have a friend in another country who told me they're going to be starting giving it to people in nursing homes, and then, you know, work their way throughout, through the population, starting with the older people, and I thought, oh, are they using them as guinea pigs? I know that's terrible to think that, but... Anyway, it's just really fast, like Herlanda said, but I know they've been working on it very, very diligently, and I really, really hope that they do come up with a, it, that it's very, very effective, um, because, you know, it's it's been a different year, and, uh, and I know there are people in our community who've been affected by it, whether it's themselves or their family members or friends of theirs. I've had friends affected by it. Um, I've known people that have passed away from it, so um, I have taken it very, very seriously. Actually, I spent most of last week, um, you all know, I think I shared before, look how darling she is. Oh, this hair. I want this hair myself. I spent a lot of last week, um, well, way in the beginning, I stocked up. We have a freezer down here, a chest freezer, and I actually bought a second one. And I um, um, had them both very, very well stocked. I don't want to lay her back so she's facing y'all. Let me just tip her up for a minute to the camera. Because I don't want to lay her flat on her hair while it's wet. I want it to dry in these beautiful curls. So she's going to sit there for the rest of the video. And then I will move her to the bumbo. And then I'm going to set up her box packing. Huh, beautiful girl. Oh, those curls. Anyway, um, and then I made a lot of food and froze a lot of food, but, you know, we've been eating it and adding um, things we run out of. And so I spent last week, I took stock of what was missing, and again, I restocked, and they're full to the brim, and I did some baking and cooking and freezing, and and so if, if we can possibly stay away from, and I've, I've been doing, um, there we go. Can you all see her? There we go. I've been doing um, curbside pickup. I'm actually, this is what I, um, well, let me just see this. It looks like my lens is a little fuzzy. I'm sorry, y'all, but i got to wipe that. There, that looks a little better. Um... I've been doing curbside pickup, um, so I, I will continue to do that, but I only want to have to go out if absolutely necessary. I bought a couple cases of uh, shelf-stable milk and um, have loaded freezers. So if we can get through the next couple of months and maybe I even took a bunch of fresh fruit and then sliced it and put it into baggies and froze it. Um, of course, I washed it first. Uh, little Sophia Grace here. I did have to put a blanket on. She's still in her little, um, what's it called? Little bubble romper. She just looks so cold to me. This blanket was made by April. Hi, April. Um, and if you'll notice, Toby's missing. Toby's actually on my painting table. He does have a list that I have reached out to, and I'm waiting to hear back from the person I reached out to. So Toby is on my uh, paint table right now. And I did finally change jean Vieve and Vijanier, so they're in much warmer clothes. And Vijanier's up here with our new friend, this little darling baby. Let's move the passy. It was a birthday gift to me from Amanda. Hi, Amanda. 
And I've named this baby Ray, R-A-E. Isn't she darling? Oh, I just love her. Oh, she's so cute. So Vijanye is playing with her. And everyone else is still wearing what they were wearing last time you saw them. We actually woke to a dusting of snow this morning. You know, that kind of powdered sugar snow. But, um, and then it was raining. So, um, it, actually we saw the snow during the night. Yes, it was, because we have cameras, and we heard something, so I opened the app on my phone to look, and I'm like, oh, there's snow on our vehicles. Um, but this morning, it was raining, and it is all gone now. Um, but anyway, we just wanted to pop in and say hello and show you sweet Maxie Girl one more time before she heads home tomorrow. Of course, I'll do a box packing video, and then that will post when she gets home. Her mommy is not on YouTube. Her mommy already has adopted uh, a few babies from me, so she's adding to her Kimberly's co Cocoon collection. She has other babies by other artists as well. And um, sweet Maxie girl will be joining all her siblings, and she'll be home for Christmas. She won't quite make it home for Thanksgiving. She'll be traveling over Thanksgiving, won't you, sweet girl? Oh, that face, y'all. Those eyes. Oh, she's so beautiful, if I do say so myself. And there's my sweet little Gabriel waiting to come to life. All right, is there anything else I need to update y'all on? I'm not sure. I think that's everything. But stay safe, everybody, and uh, do be very, very careful and safe over the holidays. Um, this is when common sense would be a really important Oh, what's genetic? It's not, I don't know, to kick in for the rest, for the world, because there's still so many people who are, you know, going to huge gatherings, and, and, you know, and it's really hard, you know, I've had to miss some things that would have required a crowd to be at, but I don't want COVID. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm choosing my life right now over attending things where, I could be in jeopardy if I attended them. So, um, anyway, but be safe out there, everybody. Um, I'm also having a lot of fun working on my Blythe house. Um, so that's been keeping me busy as well, as well as reborning. So, um, I will hopefully have a peaceful baby here in the next couple weeks. That baby is just waiting for hair, and uh, I will be starting that very, very soon. So keep your eye out on a peaceful baby, or for a peaceful baby, and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving if you're here in the U.S. Uh, be blessed. Remember, each and every day, find at least one thing to be joyful about, and um, sending everybody big hugs and a happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the U.S., and stay safe and healthy. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.